Hello everyone, uh, this is uh, Transport Fever 2 Tropical Fun, and uh, last time around we were plumbing in some trains on uh, these uh, lines here, and I've got the uh, steel mill operating. Now obviously uh, we're going to need more trains on some of these, but we also need to finish the rest of the chain for producing machines. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. Now, uh, right. Okay, so I need to get, uh, I need to get the planks from the sawmill. And that needs to come up to uh, to the uh, machines factory. Okay, so uh, that means I need to bring a uh, track out this way, and uh, if I merge it with the with the main line, the main line here, uh, with a double slip. Yep. Uh, okay, and we're going to want a signal here. Yep. Uh, right, and then if I add a uh, linkage around this way, uh, yeah, uh, then I can, I can definitely get. Uh, well, I'm going to need the li a line from the steel mill, which will uh, come into one of these. Yeah, so I, I want um, I need to uh, rejigger some of this. So uh, we're going to have a uh, a line come here with a double slip, um, and obviously, whoops. Uh, that signal is in a bad spot, as is that one. So now uh, I'll go ahead and put a two-way signal there, a one-way here, and a one-way here. Now that, but that's not really the, the right solution, is it? Well, maybe it is. Um... You know, it might be, because uh, I'm going to have a lot of traffic on this line, so I probably want to to have an extra line coming up from here uh, that links in and comes into these two tracks, because then I can have my delivery station for uh, Thornton. It can be over here. Yeah, okay, yeah, that'll work. Uh, right, okay, so I'll start from this end. Uh, I'll link the uh, tracks together here, and we'll do the usual thing here. And that's going to need, um, actually, we'll do it from the outside first. So it's going to need a crossover. Yep. Now, I need to peel off about here to come down to here. So I'm going to need to. Uh, get rid of the uh, uh, depot connection. Uh, right, and get rid of that one. And that one. Right, okay. Uh, and then what I want to do is come... Uh, basically, I think... Um... Well, if I come straight and then bend in, yeah, I think that's probably the way to go. So we'll come out this way, like so. And what the blazes has this gone and done? Uh, well, I'll look at that in a moment. So this can come up to here. Um, 
yeah, that's um, that's going to be just a little bit too um, roller coastery. So we'll uh, we'll come up like so, and I am going to end up taking a slower curve here, though not as slow as I thought. Um, yeah, it looks like I can come out a little bit further here, and then we can go like this. I'll take I'll take seventy nine there. Uh, right. Okay, so that gives us that. And what the blazes is up here? Well, what I'm gonna do is pause, and I'm just gonna take this apart. Right, back to there, back that up, and connect this, and then connect this, yes. Then this can come around, uh, that looks reasonable, yeah, and then this can come around. Yeah, that doesn't look egregious anymore. Okay, now uh, we need to signal this properly. So we'll put a signal there, one there, one there. Uh, move this pair back. Yeah, that seems about right. Uh, okay, and take these out. Okay. Now. Uh, we can restart the uh, travel there. Okay, and we'll put a couple of signals around this way. And we definitely need one here. And maybe, maybe here. Okay. Um, yeah, so that gets us uh, the planks up to there. And we need the uh, steel output needs to come across like this. Uh, yeah, that will do. Uh, right. Uh, what I need to do here, I need to also uh, arrange for uh, the train to be able to get into this uh, platform. No. No. To be able to get into the platform from the depot. And that will do it. Uh, it's not ideal, but it will do. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, that's okay. Now, uh, I need to be able to... Uh, well, that depot's obviously in a bad spot now, so I'll get rid of it. Now, uh, I need to be able to launch a train onto any of these tracks over here, um, which suggests it should be down here. Okay, well, I'll uh, take, take it off here. Is that okay? No, it's not. Uh, okay, take that out. And do that again. Uh, now, that looks like it should be okay. Uh, right, wang this around here. And we'll take one of these off here. And we'll do the same over here. Uh, well, we can double slip that one, but apparently not that one. Oh, dope. Don't delete the tracks you need. Uh, right. 
shoot. Okay, that should be double slippable. Yeah, there we go. And that should get us to any of those up there. Okay. Building. Whip this around. There we go. Now we can launch a couple more trains. Now I've probably gone and put this in the way for, for whatever station I'm going to stick over here. But that's not, a pr not the problem for now. I might actually use this one expand it out and use it as the delivery station maybe or maybe i'll deliver over here yeah yeah if i deliver yeah that's what i'll do i'll deliver over there okay uh right okay i need to uh manufacture a couple of trains so i need to take planks from here so we're going to buy what locos have we got? Uh, 90 kilowatts, 25 kilonewtons. What are we using for other for the other trains? I can't remember. Uh, manage vehicle. It is a Baldwin 56. Okay. Uh, right. So we buy a Baldwin 56 cargo. And this is going to be uh, flat cars. Okay, that is seven. That's seven. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's going to need three mil. Okay. Um, and that's 70 capacity. Okay. Yeah, that'll do for now. Uh, well, let's up tempo it here. Uh, get the uh, cash coming in because we are making enough that we can launch another train here. Uh, and then we're going to need one for the steel as well. Uh, and that's going to be that's going to be a box car. No, flat car for steel as well. Well, in that case. Uh, well, we really want to buy two of them, but I'll buy one. And this one will go on a new line that will go from here all the way up to here. Yep. Good. And... Yeah, okay, and that's going to be... It's going to be cargo rail, uh, Thornton sawmill to Thornton machines factory. Yeah, okay. Okay, that train is uh, running. Now, this thing is definitely going to need more supply of uh, lumber or of uh, logs. So uh, what I should probably do is uh, bring one of these online uh, or, well, hmm. Well, that is a bit of a conundrum. Anyway, uh, what I want to do is uh, collect enough cash and uh, build another uh, Baldwin, not passenger, cargo with a flat car. Okay, uh, and that will be headed for the steel mill. Uh, with the uh, for picking up the steel and then uh, and then it's a matter of uh, connecting up the rest of the chain and then uh, balancing out the various uh, lines 
uh, which I might do off camera, but no, oh, maybe not. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, we're we're uh, we're actually earning a decent amount of cash, even with even with spending three million on a train. Uh, we're only down seven hundred k for this uh, period. So, uh, what? Um, what date speed are we running at? We're running at half half speed on the date. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, so I, uh, I want to get this back. Uh, yeah, we're maxed out on the loan right now. So yeah, we do have to wait. Okay. Uh, so, uh, well, let's just uh, close that. Uh, put that up in the corner. Now, uh, now I'm thinking I could use uh, a station, say, over here for uh, delivery. Um, I wonder, uh, where is the, well, the catchment really needs to be over here for uh, for the machines uh, so a station over here actually yeah that looks like the smart spot yeah it does doesn't it so if I put the train station here I should be able to cover uh, yeah all of the machines to area here Yeah, yeah, I could put a terminus station here, and that would uh, that would do it. Uh, so that that actually gives me my answer there. Good. Now, uh, but first we need to get the actual production online. Uh, right, get out of that. Get this back. Now, uh, I definitely need to. Uh, ah, there we go buy. Uh, we're going to go new line uh, and it's going to go from here to here. Yep, that's exactly what I wanted it to do. That is, n yep, that's what I wanted it to do. Uh, good. Uh, so this is going to be cargo rail, Thornton, steel mill to Thornton, uh, machines factory uh, okay so that completes the uh, chain now uh, right uh, so I want to uh, I want to take that road out because it's in the way and then I want to grab a cargo station as a terminus uh, 160 meters is fine and uh, I want it about that angle and if I stick it there uh, how is that uh, connecting that is gonna have enough catchment Okay, we'll do that. Okay, so this is going to be uh, Thornton Cargo Hub. Yeah, I'm calling it a cargo hub. Uh, get over it. Um, okay, uh, now I'm going to need the track coming out of here, and we'll bring it out like that. And I'm going to need to double it. Now, uh, what am I going to do here? Well, I need to get it onto this line, but I'm thinking I want to bring it on about here. Can I get, can I get a uh, connection across here? No. It would be ideal if I could. 
you know, put all of the uh, junction ju juggling in one place. Uh, can't. Well, I might be able to get it from there. Uh, if I could get it to. Yeah, that's not going to work. Don't be clever. Uh, okay, either way, I'm going to want it to. Oh, wow. Uh, no. Uh, I'm going to want it to be snapped here. Okay, so I'll bring it around. Right. So I could just wang it straight in there. And you know what? That's probably the smart move. Uh, so if I if I back this up a bit, right? Because uh, I want these uh, tracks to be on the same level where I put the uh, the cross in. Uh, right. Okay. So I want it to be a little bit closer there. We'll put it there, and right, and then we can come straight in. Now, how does that look? That is that's tolerable. Okay. Okay. You can go away. Now, I need to come off right there. Exactly like so. Okay. Now, we need signals. One here, one here, one here, and don't need these two. Right, okay. This is a bit close together. That might prove to be problematic. Well, if it does, I'll deal with it. So we've got room to park one train in here, and that's fine. We shouldn't need more than one. Okay. Now we just need to wait for another... Uh, this is uh, machines. We're going to need probably another three mil. Uh, well, here, buy. Again, we'll grab a Baldwin cargo, and I think we're going to need uh, boxcars. Yep. Uh, that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we'll need another three mil for this. And then, uh, then we can. Uh, complete the chain here and then our town will grow more as well and then ultimately I think what I should do is convert the uh, tools production to uh, rail as well and have it come in on the uh, same spot because I think the catchment covers it uh, I think it does um, or we could just put yeah, we could bring it in here and then have a truck route that just goes cross town too. Uh, right. So we just need one of those long lines to uh, come in, and uh, and we'll end up with enough cash. Of course, it doesn't come in when you want it to. Uh, I think getting this uh, this. Um, complete chain plumbed in is going to be all for this particular episode um, but uh, it should be enough that we can uh, you know get a, an eyeball on uh, how things are going to run good we can buy the train uh, now we'll, a new line from here to here yeah, and this is going to be 
Chicago Rail, Thornton Machine Factory to Thornton. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. And that's this one. And let's um, let's down tempo everything now. Uh, now, are we getting? What aren't we? Uh, ah, we need uh, we need the um, lumber. Um, okay, so we definitely need to get the uh, lumber production. Uh, amped up and I think the fastest way to do that is going to be to uh, add uh, a bunch of uh, vehicles here Uh, that's obviously not the ideal solution for the moment, but uh, it's what I'm going to uh, do. Uh, right, okay, so we've got enough coming in that will create a couple machines, and then uh, that should be... Uh, okay, so... Uh, do we get a couple of machines up here? Um, what platform? What? What? Well, we're not getting any... Oh, there we go. We've got a machine on the, uh, on the, uh, platform. So, uh, so there's that. Uh, right, okay. So, that should, uh, up the, uh, production here. Uh, I'll need to take a, uh... Uh, take a line from here uh, across to here, I think. Yeah, maybe I'll just hold off and keep the road vehicles there. Uh, ultimately, I'll uh, I'll need to bring uh, bring uh, more uh, logs in from say over here. Uh, you know, just to get uh, get the production up. Yeah, I could even bring them in from over here, uh, which would give a uh, longer uh, uh, train or, or journey. Uh, right uh, now, yeah, we're starting to get enough of those up there that it's going to actually produce some usable amount of uh, of machines um, yeah we're up to four a whole four there um, and here yeah we don't have any uh, any lumber and that's obviously the uh, the problem at the moment but what's this one? That's our iron. Is this our... Yeah, that's our lumber train. Um, okay, so uh, we'll see... Well, let's up-tempo here. Uh, we'll see it uh, pick up some uh, some lumber there. See how much... Uh, 17. Uh, good. And then we go down here. And... Uh, 
wait for it to arrive. Right? Yep, it's uh, coming down. Here we go. Uh, let's see. We've got... Uh, now, we've got a whole... Three machines on there now. Four. Five. A whole six. Oh, wow. That's uh, that's going to be huge. We're going to have a whole nine, I think. Yeah, nine on board. Uh, well, let's see what uh, what happens over here when it arrives. Uh, what's the demand here? Uh, Forty-nine. Okay. Here we go. Uh, what's that giving us? Uh, I'm pretty certain not enough. 45k. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, definitely not going to uh, to save us uh, anything there. Uh, right. Uh, and you have 28. Uh, okay. Uh, so I definitely need to, uh... okay, how many did we pick up? Oh, 10. Wow. Uh, okay, so this will work once I get everything, uh, all the production uh, ramped up over here. Uh, right, okay, so I think realistically... I need to replace this with a train. Yeah, yeah, I think I do. I don't have enough cash to do that yet, though. So I'm going to have to uh, run until I do, and then uh, and then pick up enough cash, and then have it just skip this uh, this pickup. And then I can run a train back and forth here and substantially amp up the, uh, the production and still keep the tools chain running. Uh, what I could do, I could put a second uh, station here. I could run a uh, flat car train from here, here, stop here, drop off logs, pick up uh, lumber, and then drop it off here and then come back. Yeah, yeah, that would be better. And then I would need uh, some sort of a train or something to come in here from here. But that's such a short distance. Yeah, that's the problem. It's a short distance. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure what to do about that. Um, if it was later, then it'd be a no-brainer. Just throw a couple of semi-trucks on it and we'll be fine. But as things stand, that's not really the case. Okay, this has amazing coverage. Um, yeah, that's amazing. It gets all the... Well, it gets all of the commercial, or all of the industrial. Well, okay. Yeah, because that's commercial and it wants tools, right. Um, yeah. So it's, it's pretty clear that I'm going to need to... I'm going to need rail here for sure. Uh, what, what can I do? I can bring rail in here and just drop it here. 
Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Uh, run a platform out here. Well, um, no, I think my other idea is better. Uh, to to run a second uh, train line perpendicular here, so I can drop off here. Uh, and if I make this dual platform, I can run a, a track in this way. Yeah, yeah, that's what I could do. I'd have to demolish some stuff, but I could bring it. So how am I going to do that without interfering with these tracks? I'm going to have to elevate it. Yeah. Gonna have to elevate it. Well, that should prove interesting. Yeah, well, that's gonna be. That's not gonna be the easiest thing in the world to figure out. Um, yeah. No, the easiest thing will be to bring a uh, train in from over here. Um, but I still want to have the the perpendicular because I'm coming in from the side here. So, um, yeah, I only need two of these forests feeding it. So, I could, yeah, so if I pick this one, it could come in. Hmm. Yeah, so this one comes in this way. Huh. Yeah, the first one I, I put rail on will... Well, I could bring it across on this... Uh, yeah, I'll bring it across on this side. Um, and it'll have to go over. So I'm going to need an elevated uh, platform and a road to do the, the hill. Yeah, get down to the industry level. And then it can come across elevated and do the same over here. Yeah, if I do that, uh, let's put the ugly on and just take a boo here. Uh, here we go. Oh yeah, yeah, we could definitely do that nicely, okay. Well, anyway, uh, we're uh, turning a profit here, so uh, we'll definitely be able to do that next time around. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to call it here, and that's a big project for the next time around. And, uh, you know, once, uh, once that's done, then we should see uh, much better profits because we'll be pushing more on this lines here. Anyway... Uh, that's all for this time. Uh, I'll, I'll be back uh, next week. Uh, should be Monday with the next part. And I guess uh, see everybody then.